Are you that person who has no clue when it comes to choosing the right smartphone? Or have you tried to look up a phone spec sheet and didn't know what all those numbers meant? Then don't worry guys cause we have got the right solution for you. It's Dave from Bitdatum and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we'll be giving you guys a brief idea on what all those specs are. And if you want to know more, consider subscribing cause we'll be uploading a series of videos where we go into detail on each of these specs one by one. So to kick things off, let's take a look at the spec sheet of the Pixel 4a from Google. Now the spec sheet here gives us a list of the most basic but also the most important specs of the phone. As we can see, it's got an OLED display with a display size of 5.81 inches measured diagonally with a Full HD Plus resolution. The key point to note here is that the phone has an OLED display which simply means that the phone's display will give a better image quality compared to LCD displays in terms of brightness, contrast and color. When it comes to smartphone displays, Super AMOLED displays are considered the best followed by AMOLED displays, OLED and then LCD displays. Along with image quality, the cost of each display technology also increases as we go up this list. The spec sheet also mentions the resolution which simply determines the sharpness of the display. Higher the resolution, the sharper the image. Next up on the list is the phone's processor. Now the processor is the most important component of your phone. It has a lot of components in it out of which the CPU and the GPU are the most important ones. Together, they decide how fast your phone can perform. The time taken to load up apps and the frame rate or smoothness of your gameplay all depends on your CPU and GPU. On the Android side, the most common processors we see are the Snapdragons from Qualcomm, the Exynos from Samsung, the Helio and Diamond City from MediaTek, and finally, the Kirin processors from Huawei. Coming to the Apple side, we have the A-series processors. The recent ones starting from the A11 comes under the Bionic lineup. Inside the Pixel 4a, we have the Snapdragon 730G chipset from Qualcomm. It has an octa-core CPU with a maximum clock speed of 2.2 GHz. It rocks the Adreno 618 GPU along with it. When it comes to processors, higher clock speeds and more number of cores tend to deliver more performance. However, there are other factors you should take into consideration when choosing your processor. We will be going into detail on each of those factors in our next video. Now let's talk about the memory of a phone. There is RAM and internal storage. Speaking of RAM, as most of you might know, it's where all your active applications and background processes are stored. So simply put, RAM is what allows you to multitask on your phones. The more amount of RAM you have, the more number of applications you can keep open in the background. All other data is stored on the internal storage, including all the apps installed on your phone. In 2020, 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage should be enough for someone who uses their phone for normal day-to-day -day tasks. But if you're someone who wants to future-proof their smartphone, or if you plan to game a lot on your phone, we highly recommend you to get at least 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. Again, there are other factors you should consider when you look into the memory of your smartphone, which we'll be discussing in a future video. Now let's talk about the camera specs. This is one of the most important aspects for most smartphone users. What a lot of people fail to realize is that the camera performance or quality depends a lot on software too and not just the hardware. And when I say hardware, it's not just the resolution of the sensor. There are lots of factors that contribute. The best way to find out what the camera is actually capable is to try out the device yourself at a store or from someone who has a device. If you can't find the phone anywhere, we highly recommend you to watch one of the camera reviews of the phone before making any decisions. Now on the spec sheet, you might find a lot of information about the camera setup on the device. Most of them mentions all the camera sensors, their resolution and a lot more numbers. But one thing you must keep in mind is that the better camera setup need not be the one with more megapixels or more number of sensors. To get a better idea, let's take a look at the Pixel 4a here. It's got a single camera setup on the back with just a 12.2 megapixel sensor. But this camera setup manages to beat a lot of phones, even some of the flagships out there when it comes to camera performance. Now coming to the battery specs, the Pixel 4a has a 3140 mAh battery capacity. 
Now that might seem too small on paper, but actually, it's just enough to get you through one day on medium use. You're getting this battery life from a small battery because the display and the processor on this phone are relatively less power hungry. But that's just part of the equation. The battery backup you get depends a lot on how long you use your phones and the apps installed and also the number of apps running in the background. Simply put, you cannot predict your battery backup by just looking at its capacity. Now that we've covered all the main aspects of a phone, you might want to look for some subtle features that might make your smartphone experience a whole lot better, like a headphone jack, expandable storage, good haptics and also your OS version. So those were some of the most important aspects you should look into before you choose your phones. And as I said, we'll be going into detail on each of these specs in our coming videos. So hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications if you don't want to miss them. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.